it, I was not sure. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be a hot, hot mess. Hi everyone, I'm Angelina and this is Blueprint DIY where we remake our clothes to be just as unique as us. Today we are getting a jump on our summer t-shirts and you guys know that I love jean tutorials and I love t-shirt tutorials and you guys love them as well. I know that for some of you in the northern areas of the world are still pretty like cold right now but we're gonna get a jump on it so you're ready when that hot weather hits. And this year it's all about the cutouts. Cutouts here, cutouts there, cutouts everywhere. Okay, not everywhere, but strategic cutouts. And I love this project because I think that it's going to give you guys some ideas. You don't have to put your cutouts exactly where I put my cutouts because we all have different places on our body that we feel comfortable showing, um, like a little clavicle or, you know, on the belly, which I am not comfortable with, but some of you are, or on the back, which I am comfortable with. So I'm going to give you some ideas through these three projects projects of different ways that you can alter your t-shirts to give that strategic cutout look. All right, first up is this tie-dye t-shirt that I got from my local thrift outlet for $1.50. It's definitely a kid's t-shirt. It has the name written in the back, but I am going to turn it into this t-shirt from Zara. Cute little t-shirt, not that expensive, but we are trying to be a little bit kinder to our environment each day. So we're going to make it in a super easy way. And second, up is another tie-dye t-shirt I know but if you don't find tie-dye t-shirts and you love this look the look of the tie-dye you can definitely check this video out right here I do have a video on how to reverse tie-dye this exact same black and tan I absolutely love it I've done it several times so um, you can check that out but we're going to use it to make this t-shirt by Shein love 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 this back cut out I don't know if it'll hit just right because there's portions of my back that I like to show and portions I do not so we're gonna try it and see and then last up is a plain white t-shirt yes plain white because I want to do this t-shirt on Zara this t-shirt is the impetus for this whole video because I saw it and I just had 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 to make it I think it's going to be flattering on me I have a feeling because of other straight cut things that I've worn so we're gonna try it and see if we can get this done and I hope I can make this super easy for you guys all right let's get right into it so let's start off with the front circle cutout. I'm going to lay the t-shirt flat and put a cutting board underneath because you guys know that I am notorious for cutting through too many layers. And I'm just gonna use a heat erasable marker to draw a circle in the front. The key to this is to cut the circle smaller than you think you need it. Trust me, you thank me for that tip later. Now I can just turn it under and sew it down. I am a little nervous because curves like this don't like to be turned under, but I am going to do it anyway. I know, we're just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna take it slow and use a twin needle since we're sewing stretchy material. If you don't know how to use a twin needle, I have a whole video right here about how to thread it and how to troubleshoot the stitches. And I'll also link it in the description box below. Now, here you can see me really trying to make this curve work by stretching the fabric, which is a big no-no. But like I said, we're just gonna make it work. Next, you'll make a piece of t-shirt yarn and attach it to a safety pin and push it through the seam. If you don't know how to make t-shirt yarn, I will slow down and show you exactly how during the second t-shirt. And lastly, I'll figure out how much I wanna crop this shirt and add pins. Then I'll sew the hem with my twin needle. You can also use a shallow zigzag stitch as well. And I'm not really going to do any serging on these because the t-shirt material won't fray. And these are meant to be quick and easy, but for a more professional finish, you can absolutely go ahead and serge your edges. So here it is. My V-neck isn't as deep as the inspiration pick, so I wonder how that's gonna affect it, but I'll show you all the final looks and styling at the end. And if you haven't subscribed, definitely hit the subscribe button. We're always doing new things around here, new projects, new ideas, and the finale of Next Top Upcycler is in two days. So if it is before May 1st, definitely subscribe so you don't miss that. If it's after May 1st, definitely hit that up so you can see who won the whole shebang, who is the Next Top Upcycler. And season two is coming up and you have to be a subscriber in order to get the notification for that so yes I hope you guys are excited about that so let's go on to the second t-shirt okay next up is the back cutout and I'm super excited about this one I'll lay it flat and go ahead and cut off the bottom to crop it 
Next, I'll cut two one inch pieces off the bottom portion so that we can make a long piece of t-shirt yarn. And for these type of t-shirt upcycles, I really like to use t-shirts that don't have seams on the side. So that way I can get a long piece of t-shirt yarn. And in order to make that t-shirt yarn, I'll cut them open and just stretch them until they curl up. And that's all t-shirt yarn is. In order to make a really long piece, I'll tie the ends together, pull it really tight and cut off the ends. And we'll just go ahead and put those aside for a second. And now we can add our cutting board and cut a curve in the back of the shirt. Next, I'll turn it under using that same type of twin needle stitch. And I'll also turn the bottom under for the new hem. Lastly, I'll put a safety pin on the end of the t-shirt yarn and push it through the seam. And you'll see that you have to be really careful to make sure your seam is completely sewn all the way around. The second curve gets me every time. So now I have to go back and sew it again and then finish pushing the t-shirt yarn through. And it's cool because the knot in the t-shirt yarn is gonna hide really nicely at the top of the inside of that seam. So there we go. And I'm super excited to try this one on and see how it looks. So lastly, we have the front curve cut out, which is my favorite. I'll add pins in the front to mark where I want the bottom of the curve to be and how far out I want it to go. Once I have it laid flat, I'll mark lines from the pin and down at an angle. For this one, in my mind, I was trying to be more precise, so I folded it in half to make sure each side was the same. Then I'll go ahead and mark it and cut it across. <laughs> The front, the front is what should have been cut across. This is me realizing that once again, I cut too many layers, but all is not lost because I can just sew it back together in the back. And actually the whole thing is just gonna be sewn back together except for that front curve. So I'm just gonna go ahead now and cut that curve. And I also forget that the opening should have been cut smaller because of seam allowance. So that means my overall opening is going to be bigger than the inspiration. But I'm gonna keep going and see what happens. Now I'll line all the seams back up and sew the t-shirt back together except for the curve opening, just like I said. To sew it back together, I'm going to use a shallow zigzag stitch. And after I've done that, this is what it looks like inside out. I'll just open up the seams, lay them flat, and top stitch them with the twin needle. At this point, my sewing machine seemed to be sucking the fabric down into the bobbin case, and then the twin needle broke, and I ended up having to cut the fabric out of the plate. It was a hot mess, and that's why you see me tugging on the fabric a bit while I'm sewing. This is another no-no for stretchy fabric because it creates that lettuce edge effect, which is not what I'm going for right here. But I think once I take it in, it won't look so bad, or at least I'm hoping so. And luckily, you can see that hole on the side that I cut from it getting stuck in the sewing machine, but it is on the side and that part's gonna be cut out because I wanna take it in. So I'm gonna add pins to see how much I wanna take it in. And I'll also add pins at the bottom because I do want to shorten it a bit. Then I'll go ahead and cut off the bottom so that I can hem it and I'll also take it in on the side. And for the sides, I went ahead and used my serger because that is another way to keep your seams stretchy. All right, so let's finally, after all of that, let's see how they turned out. First up is the front circle cutout tie-dye. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Oh, I love it. I was not sure. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I thought it was gonna be a hot, hot mess. And really because the V-neck, the V part of this t-shirt is not quite as V as it needs to be to get this just, just right. But I really do like how this turned out. It really looks like something that I would wear to the beach or like if I were going out of town, something like that. So yes, I'm super excited about this look. And of course I had to pair it with my super colorful shoes that just happen to have all the same colors as the tie dye. All right, so let's see this. This second one, see if this back cut out is hitting just right. I want to be silly, baby, dance the night away. I'll kick my shoes off if I want. Yes, yes. I am, like, normally I'm a little self-conscious about, like, the lower part of my back off to the sides, but I actually love this top. I think that it's just right with these peach pants, and I really was thinking more of a tan color for the um, pants or just wearing regular black pants with them, but the peach really makes it stand out, so I'm loving that with the nude heels as well. Yes, elevated a little bit. And, of course, it can be just worn with jeans, worn with black jeans or regular color jeans, and it would just be a chill t-shirt as well. 
All right, so last up, let's see how this white one came out. It was the one I really, really wanted, so let's see how it turned out. absolutely love it. My cutout happens to be bigger <laughs> than the one on the picture, but I think it's super flattering on me, like super flattering on me. I think y'all been keeping secrets, like y'all been keeping secrets from the small chest girls. Like y'all haven't been telling us, you know, how to accentuate. And I think this is how you accentuate. <laughs> I'm blaming y'all, I'm blaming y'all, but I absolutely love this. And it'll definitely get plenty, plenty of wear this summer. And of course, I paired it with the cow jeans from last week's video. You guys love those. Thank you guys so much for all the love on those. I was not sure if you guys were gonna like it or not, just because it's such a um, such a big print, and I felt like you either gonna love it or you're gonna hate it. But I decided to try it since it's so trendy. And so yeah, I decided to pair it with that. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link it here so you can watch it after this one. And yes. I absolutely am super, super glad I did all three of these. I do have another video planned for you guys who do not sew. T-shirts, no sew edition. So I hope you guys are excited about that. And definitely subscribe if you haven't subscribed. I have other videos for you to watch right here and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!